Lesson 1.3 is called collinearity, betweenness, and making assumptions. We're going to talk about three definitions to begin with, betweenness, postulate, and a theorem. Definition of betweenness says, um, through an example, W is between Q and R if and only if, that's IFF, QW plus WR is going to equal QR. Well, what does that look like from a picture? We have Q and R. W is between them, doesn't have to be in the middle, it has to be between them when the QW plus WR is equal to QR. It's the whole thing. A postulate is an unproven assumption. So that means we assume it, but it has not been proven. A theorem, on the other hand, is a statement that can be proven because it has already, it's been there, it's been published, and so on. So we're going to start out with the addition postulate. Okay, so it hasn't been proven, but obviously it's something that's going to work every time. Here's a picture example. And it, the addition postulate says if D is between is an interior of an angle A, B, C in this example, then a, the measure of angle A, B, D plus the measure of angle D, B, C but equal the measure of angle A, B, C. So the small, two small pieces have to add to equal the bigger one. So that's what happens in the addition postulate. We've done a couple examples on that already. Assumption. If it looks like a straight line, then it is a straight line. So if it looks straight, it is going to be straight. There's no confusion about that. There's more assumptions on the back of the sheet that you will have to end up memorizing. Example one, we see we want to find the measure of angle CBD. We have ABC is 2x minus 14, CBD is 3x plus 4. We also should notice that ABD is a straight line. Well, how many degrees are in a straight line? That would be 180. So we can say that 2x minus 14 plus 3x minus 4 is going to equal 180 degrees. Simplify, I see 5x minus 18 is equal to 180. Add the 18 over, I apologize, this was 3x plus 4, which means this is 5x minus 10. So we're going to add 10 to both sides. So 5x equals 190. So x equals 38, and now we can find the measure of CBD because it's right here. And we could say 3 times 38 plus 4 gives me an answer of 118 for the measure of angle CBD. Example 2, between what two numbers must BC lie? Well, we will learn or right now we will learn, that the largest side has to be smaller than the 
two sides add together. So the two smaller sides have to add to be bigger than the third side. So if this is the missing side and we say 39 is the largest side. That means 36 plus x has to be greater than 39. Well, when I simplify that, that means x has to be greater than 3. Has to be, can't be 3, but it has to be greater than 3. Well, maybe the 39 is not the largest side. Maybe BC is the largest side. That means that if, if BC is the largest side this time, that means the 36 and the 39 have to be greater than x. Well, when I simplify that and I add these two up, I end up 75. So that means that, it, that x cannot be greater than the 75. So the answer is between 3 and 75, but neither 3 nor 75. So to write that down, the sum of the two lengths of a triangle is always greater than the third. So the two smaller have to be greater than the third. Remember that that is a key concept that you will have to leave from with in honors geometry. Next slide shows what can we assume. To be honest, there is not much that we can assume. So it is better to say that you can't assume something than you can assume something. So let's look here. Here's our picture. D is between A and C. Well, sure, you can look at that and say, yeah, it's between it. it. It's on that line, so it's between it. So, yes, you can assume between this. That's one thing you can assume. D is the midpoint of AC. Well, are those marked congruent? No, those two are not marked congruent, so you can't just assume that they're congruent. You cannot assume midpoint. No to midpoint. Well, looking at it, is AC congruent to EC? Well, looking at it, they don't look congruent to me, but they're not marked either. So, no, we cannot assume that two things are congruent if they are not marked. Moving on. ADC is collinear. Well, we can go up and top. Are ADC collinear? Sure, there's a line connecting all three. So, yes, you can assume if something is collinear. Angle AEC is a right angle. Well, let's look. A, E, C. Is there a 90 degree angle in the corner? Is there a, a right angle square in there? No, and you cannot assume that. So you can't assume something's a, straight, a right angle. A, D, C is a straight angle. Well, let's see. A, D, C is a straight angle. We learned at the front of the sheet that, yes, you can assume something is a straight angle. D is in the interior of angle E, C, B. ECB is D in the middle of that or interior not doesn't need to be in the middle it has to be in the interior sure here's the angle we're looking at it's inside of that angle so sure it's interior to that angle is the measure of angle ECD equal to ACB well there's no degree measures there nor anything marked so we can't assume that those two are congruent B, C, D is acute. B, C, D is acute. So we're assuming that it's acute, but once again, that's kind of like that idea of the 90-degree angle. If it's not marked, you can't assume it. Maybe it's just a really bad drawing. So no, we can't assume that it's collinear. I mean, that it's acute. A, E, C is not collinear. A, E, C is not collinear. Well, sure, if you can assume collinear, you can assume non-collinear because they obviously didn't connect to be a straight line. A, B is longer than A, E. Well, we can't, A, B is longer than A, E. You can look at it and, uh, but maybe once again, like I said, it's a bad drawing. So don't assume that they're the congruent to each other. Don't do it. And A, B, Ray AB intersects Ray BC at B. Well, let's take a look at that. Ray AB and Ray, what was it? ABC, Ray B, 
C. Intersect where? Intersect at point B. So that is yes. And that's not something you can assume. You did it by looking at the diagram. So to recap, the things that you can assume are between this. If something is collinear, if something makes a straight angle, and if something's interior. Do not assume anything else.